Alleluia, gloria, alleluia, gloria, alleluia, praise the Lord, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. That was slain, glory, glory, alleluia, glory, alleluia, glory, alleluia, praise the Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the Lamb. Jesus, Jesus is the Lamb. Jesus, Jesus is the Lamb that was slain. Glory, glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Glory, alleluia. Praise the Our Father and our God, we bless your holy name. Because you are the bright and morning star. You are that star that can shine during the day and outshine the sun. Your children are here again to have an encounter with you. Please shine into our lives and drive away the darkness of poverty. Father, we are asking that in your own miraculous way, you will prosper us so mightily that we will shine and the world will hear about it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now you know that our theme for this month is the bright and morning star. And our text will be Second Chronicles chapter 1, from verse 6 to 12. Second Chronicles 1, 6 to 12. And Solomon went up thither to the brazen altar before the Lord, which was at the tabernacle of the congregation, and offered a thousand bond offerings upon it. In that night did God appear unto Solomon, and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast showed great mercy unto David my father, and hast made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord God, let thy promise unto David my father be established, for thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth, a multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before these people, for who can judge this thy people that is so great? And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemies, neither yet hast asked long life, but hast asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king, Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the like. The purpose of a lamb is to give light to the people. The purpose of a lamb is to give light to the people. In Matthew chapter 5, from verse 14 to 16, Matthew 5, 14 to 16, the Lord said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hid. And nobody will light 
the lamp and put it under a bushel, but he will put it on the lion's lamp that he may give light to the people. Then he said, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and they will give glory to your Father in heaven. What's this passage saying to those of us who have come to have a divine encounter with God? It is simple. The purpose of being blessed is to be a blessing. I said, you want God to prosper you, to make you extremely wealthy, to make you not just wealthy, but flourishing, to make you a star materially. A star that the whole world will hear about. And so, that's no problem with God. He is more than sufficient. It is Jehovah El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. He can give you a thousand times more than you are even dreaming about. The word of God made it clear. He can do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. But then, he says to be blessed is to be a blessing. Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1 to 3. Genesis 12, from verse 1 to 3. Abraham, I will bless you, and you will be a blessing. Now, so the more you want to bless, the greater will be your blessing. God is not the one holding out. It's not the one who is preventing you to prosper. The question is, what do you want to do with the prosperity? How many people will you bless? That's why he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. You sow bountifully. You reap bountifully. You sow sparingly. You reap sparingly. How far is your light shining? For example, 1 Kings chapter 17, from verse 8 to 16. 1 Kings 17 from verse 8 to 16, the widow of Sarepath was willing to feed a servant of God. And God made sure she never lacked food. And if you then move on to 1 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 14, 1 Chronicles chapter 22, verse 14. David wanted to build a church, a house for God. And God blessed someone who used to be a shepherd boy to the extent that he was telling his son, I wanted to build this house for God. God said, no, 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 my hands are soiled because I've been a man of war. Uh, there's so much blood I've shed. Uh, my son will do the building. He said, okay, my son. God said, you will do the building, but I will provide everything you need to build it. All you will do will be just be putting the uh, brick and mortar in place. And if you read what he said, he will make available. <laughs> you can see how far God can take a shepherd boy. A hundred thousand talents of gold. That's billions of dollars on, in any currency. A million talents of silver. So that, that's not enough. He said, let's add a, a million talents of silver. And then he said, brass and iron beyond weighing. 
so great a multitude. So you have nothing now? And you want God to turn you to a star, materially speaking? And God is saying, what will you do with the money? If you have too much money and you don't have a purpose for it, the money will choke you. It will. And I can tell you stories, but I don't want to tell you stories. This morning I want you, I want you to hear me. Hear me very carefully. There are people who are worthy who can eat. Because they have too much. <laughs> and like I've said before, hey, when you had only three pairs of shoes, going to church was easy. One pair of shoes for going to work. You wore one shoe last week. There's only one left for this week. No problem choosing. But wait till you have a thousand pair of shoes. And you see your agony when preparing for church. If you don't have a purpose for the prosperity you are asking for, when it comes, it could become a body. It could become a body. And then, in the text we read, Solomon says, all I want is to be able to build your kingdom. I want to look after your people. I want to make sure that your will is done among the people that you have made me king over. God said, is that so? The boy said, yes, Lord. And God said, I will give you what you need to do it. And after I've given you what you need to do it, because you ask for wisdom, you ask for that, I will give you that. Then those things you have not asked for, I will add. And then you become unique. You become a star that can be seen throughout the whole world. Hey, I will encourage you to study Solomon. People were coming from far countries to come and hear his wisdom. But they never came empty-handed. They came loaded with money. If you don't have time to read the whole story, just read the story about the Queen of Sheba. She came loaded with money. Read about Solomon. People were bringing horses from Egypt. They were bringing all manners of treasures from all over the world to Solomon. He didn't have to struggle for, for wealth. It got to a stage when he said, don't bring silver into, inside, my king, inside my palace. Put silver at the backyard. He didn't ask for money. All he asked for is, I want to build your kingdom. I want to take care of the kingdom you have handed over to me. Read Matthew chapter 6. Read from verse 25 to 33. Matthew 6, 25 to 33. The Lord Jesus Christ said, look at Solomon. Look at how well God beautified him. He said, but do you know that all his beauties cannot be compared to that of a flower, ordinary flower in the field? <laughs> he says, you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added. You want to shine? 
You want to shine like the bright and morning star. You want to become known all over the world for your success, for your breakthroughs. What's the purpose? What do you want it for? Is it for the kingdom of God or for yourself? How much food can you eat anyway? How many clothes can you wear? How many cars can you ride? It doesn't matter how big your house is, you can only sleep in one room at a time. So if you are here this morning and your purpose is that, God, I want to serve you. I want to be a partner with you in the building of your kingdom. He will give you everything you need to achieve that purpose. That's why if you are not born again and you are asking for money, God will say, I want me to give you breakthrough so you can go and spend it in the kingdom of darkness. No, he's not going to answer you. So if you are here and you have not just given your life to Jesus Christ, come, surrender your life to him. Let him save your soul first. And then you can tell him, I want to help build your kingdom. And you can see him opening the windows of heaven and blessing you beyond measure. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, will you please bow your heads and I will pray with you and the Almighty God will move you into his kingdom and your day of shining will begin. And so my Father and my God, I want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for these people who are surrendering their lives to you now. Please, Lord, receive them. Save their souls. Amen. Let your blood wash them clean. Amen. And Father, I pray that today you will receive them into the family of God Amen. and give them a brand new beginning. Amen. And Lord, very, very soon, drive away the darkness of poverty from their lives. Amen. And as many people as are here today, hungry to build your kingdom, my Father and my God, bless them beyond measure. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you.